people ask me often why i smile so much and this is what i say because i got one more day to see my story i'm alive i've had some near to death experiences that has taught me how to value my time on this planet you get one more day to write your story one more day to create impact on this planet on the lives of those who you care for and one more day to realize your dreams now no matter who you are no matter where you are just remember to practice three things when you wake up in the morning number 1 is gratitude gratitude and love are the two most powerful emotions that vibrate at a frequency of 540 mhz now instead of waiting for someone to love you unconditionally and stuff like that you start expressing gratitude which is vibrating at the same frequency as love you will attract more events when you vibrate at that frequency that you can be grateful for number 2 chanting meditation and prayer whatever works for you make sure to sit down and set aside 20 minutes for that chanting meditating praying allows you to connect to the highest self of you and number 3 move your body the parts of your body that you don't move is what attracts disease if you don't move your lower back you might have lower back problems if you don't exercise your muscles your muscles will become weak so move your body keep it moving here's to healthy living and a healthy you Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with another one, man. But I wanted y'all to see that message from Dr. Dimple Jangda. Shout out to her. I get a lot of gems from her. You know, a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge, you know, about health stuff and, you know, all of that good stuff from her. So please, if you're on Instagram, go follow her because these are the things that we need to hear. You know what I'm saying? And... Like she said, people ask her why she smile all the time. You know why her vibration is so high, and it's very simple how she kept it in that message. You know she showed gratitude for having another day to live. You know to get better, to express herself. You know to pray. You know what I mean? All of that stuff she get, she get another day. That's why I say, bro. We have to take advantage of the opportunity that we have because the Most High granted us another day. So when you showing gratitude, bro, it changes everything. It does a lot for you, other than you just waking up and being mad at the world, mad at the universe. You're not gonna attract nothing that way. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna attract shit. Just waking up, just being mad, and it's like that's like you sending the message to the universe and the Most High that. You're not happy to be alive. You're not happy to have another day. You're not happy to have another uh, a, 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 a reason to live. You're not happy to have to be living, bro. That's what you're pretty much saying when you're waking up upset all the time, irritable all the time, mad all the time, attitude all the time, and not showing gratitude for the opportunity. So make sure that you know you do that first and foremost when you get up. Another thing she named was just. You know, making sure that you sit aside time, you know, to chant, to pray, you know what I mean, to meditate, so you could connect with your higher self, and that is very important. You know, I try to pray and talk to the Most High as much as I can, but listen, I don't be on top of it like I should be. I don't meditate as much as I should be. You know what I mean? So, you know, what she mean by chant? Or whatever work for you is when you get out there. If you want to chant, just put good things out there in the universe. Tell yourself you gonna have a good day. Tell yourself that you will have a, live a life of abundance. Tell yourself that you are going to get better. You know, do all of that. Tell yourself good things. Be nice to you. Be positive to you. You know, and when you put that out there, you already know that you gonna get that energy back. You know what I mean? You gonna get that energy back, and you showing the Most High that, hey, listen. No matter what I'm going through, no matter my circumstances, listen. I know that, you know, there's better days, and even then, I'm still showing gratitude. I know that there's a lot out there for me to learn, a lot out there for me to receive, a lot of blessings that's on the way. But I'ma help put. I'ma help. I'ma I'ma do my part, and I'ma be positive and help. Bring those things to me, you know what I'm saying. So that's like a way of attracting that, 
you know, by not just saying it, but actually carrying yourself in a certain way, by actually being positive, being nice to yourself and other people, you know, and then when you chanting these things and you telling yourself these good things, then guess what, bro, you're going to manifest that, it's going to come your way. You know, it ain't always got to be about money, but I know some of y'all might do that. But guess what, bro? If you tell yourself you're going to be successful, you tell yourself that your business is going to flourish, you tell yourself that you're going to get your health right and you putting it out there, you're not even just saying it in your mind like you really speaking this like, listen, I'm going to get my health right. You know what I mean? I'm going to get money. You know, I'm going to be successful. You know what I mean? I'm going to have a good day. You know, I'm going to be eating right. I'm going I'm to love, I'm a, you know, I'm going to love more. And guess what, bro? You're going to attract all of that shit. And you're going to do just that. You know what I'm saying? And another thing she said is move your body. That was correct. That's what we do. You got to move it because it is like how they say, you know what I mean? You know, move it or lose it. You know, not... Not the other way around where people say, oh, man, you need to be releasing and do all that shit. If you don't use your penis, then you're going to lose. Nah, nah, I'm not talking about that. She's talking about moving your body and getting your blood circulating. You know what I mean? Getting your blood circulating, all of that stuff. Because when the more you use it, the stronger, you know, you keep those muscles. The more you use it, the more the blood will run through your bloodstream. You know what I'm saying? Along with drinking water and putting the right stuff in you, you're going to be all right. But if you think about it, bro, a lot of people that don't move their body, then guess what, bro? That's when the aches and pains start to set in. That's when that arthritis start to set in, bro, because not enough blood circulation, blood circulation getting to those parts of the body. You know, for any of y'all, bro, I've experienced this, like, after not playing football for a while, like, we used to do something called the turkey bowl, you know, where on Thanksgiving, you know, a bunch of us would meet meet up, and we would play football, you know what I mean? We'd play tackle football, flag football, whatever, depends on, you know, how we feel. But, man, you know, like, I never felt that type of soreness ever after playing in those damn turkey bowls. And that be because, you know, you move in a lot of body parts that you haven't moved in a long time. You know, and I used to play football. I played football from fourth grade all the way up to my senior year. So we think in fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, twelfth grade. I played football for nine years. You know, so you know, I got to move you know, those muscles, and I knew how it felt, but when you're not playing football for a while, and you're not, you know, used to twisting and turning and running at a certain speed, and making tackles, and catching the ball, and stretching out how you used to, man, listen, bro, you're gonna be sore as fuck, the same way goes with you and your life, so if you're not getting up, moving around, if you're not exercising, if you're not out there living your life, if you're not out there in nature, you know what I'm saying? Then guess what, bro? Things is going to seize up on you. You know what I mean? Things going to tighten up on you. You know, you're going to let dis-ease enter into your body. That's why it's called disease. It's dis-ease. Your body is going to be in dis-ease because you're not making it easier on yourself by getting out there, living your life, and moving your body around, getting that blood circulating. You know, so that's very important, bro. That's very, very important. So make sure you're doing all three things that she named. Make sure that you're showing gratitude. Make sure that you're meditating and connecting with your higher self. Make sure that you're connecting spiritually and all of that shit. Make sure that you move in your body. Make sure that you, like, appreciate every day that you have and take advantage of that shit. You know why? Because there's a lot of people that wish they were still here and could live another day. A lot of people wish they were still here and could, you know, do small things, the little things that we take for granted. We take eating for granted. You know what I mean? We take we take nature for granted. We take people for granted. You know what I mean? And then it'd be all it'd be all funny games until you lose those people. It be all fun and games until you can't go out there in nature like you used to. It be all fun and games until you can't move your body you like you used to, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make sure that you appreciating 
the day and the opportunities that you have. And I guarantee everything that you put out there in the universe is going to come to you, man. You know, you're not going to be one of them sour, them sour Sam's walking around here, them, 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 them negative Nates out here and shit, always mad about something, negative about something, got an attitude about something, man. Listen, bro, that's a terrible way to live, man. That'll make you age quicker than anything. And a lot of people don't realize that shit. When you see people out here, head full of gray hair, a lot of people didn't earn that. You got some happy people with gray hair, but I'm just saying, a lot of people, they stress they self out and bring that shit in. You know what I'm saying? They stress they self out. You see bags under their eyes. You see wrinkles. And then you be wondering like, man, you know, motherfucker probably too, too, you know, too young for that shit. But man, it's a lot of young, tired looking, prune face looking motherfuckers walking around here. They're stressing out and they not helping when they, uh, Abusing substance, they not helping when they out here lusting, they not helping when they out here fapping and watching pornography and using this escapism to take their mind away from their real life. That escapism killing motherfuckers, that escapism aging motherfuckers. Because they rather live in a digital reality. They rather live in an alternate universe. They rather live in a fantasy world. Than be actually enjoying the present and the opportunity that they have today. That the most high didn't tap them. Then woke them up. You know what I'm saying? Then woke them up. The most high hit you with that light. Hit you with that finger. Hit you with that blessing. And then you got the nerve to wake up mad. You know what I mean? You got the nerve to wake up and waste it away. You got the nerve to be out here just doing shit that's just lowering your value, lowering your vibration, man. That ain't appreciation. You doing things that's... Uh, yeah. Give you this, give you that, but Cindy got nothing for you. No simping in my decisions, I gotta keep it royal. King shit, I'm the gift, I promise I won't adore you. But I will explore you.